Hey, good afternoon, everyone. This is Misty here, and I am here to do some more craftings with uh, my Artology Design Team Kit um, for my November project. Anyway, oops, as I'm knocking things over, I have some of these flags and the tabs um, that come in the kit. So let me show you what I decided I thought I would do. And that is to take our flags, take flags and um, cut them and make them into little tabs. And you can easily slide it on and glue it. So and then you can add a bead onto the top. So that's what I'm going to do. So what I did was is I just kind of measured, you know, what I would need, how much space I would need for this. Because I want the tabs to hang over the side. And then I just cut it. And I can still use this piece here. And I have another piece of one here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay. So then what you want to do is you want to take and you want to bend it in half. Just right above the little notch there. And go ahead and... Ow. Fold it, and I'm going to take my scissors, my scissors, my hole punch, and then I'm going to get me a eyelet. I think these are going to be really cute. And while I'm doing this, guys, make sure you go over and check Dev out. Her Etsy and all that is down below, as well as the design to other design team members. Go check them out as well. My links are down below. Two, if you want to go check them out so there is that now I don't want to leave it I want to do a little little collage just a little one so I'm gonna take a little piece of music paper here I thought I had some cheesecloth little snips of it Apparently, I don't have them anymore, or I can't find them, which I probably just can't find them. So, let me take a piece of this lace, use a little piece of it. Okay, so let's use this one. Yeah, and do that. And then I'm going to take one of these words from her little card thing she had. And then I think I'm going to put that on top like this. Let me bring it up here so you can see it. That show. Let me put the light down. There we go. And have it like that. I think that's going to look cute. So let me go ahead and get some glue. We're going to glue our fabric, our little piece of lace. We're going to glue our paper. Down. I'm not being really particular in how it's laying because, you know, snip snippets are not perfect. Snippets are, are just from scraps. So it don't have to be perfect. There we go. And then I've made a bunch of these little beaded beads. And I've got some peppermint looking ones. And then I've got these here. So those are the ones I'll be using in this this journal but I'm gonna take this one here and I've just put them on ball pins and then you can take it and do it like that now let me get my journal here and let me show you how these would look I had another one what I do there it is okay so we have one here already and let me see let me find another signature 
and see where I want to put it. I think if I took it and I slid it right here, that would be cute. And then that'd be hanging out of my book. So let me move it up a little bit more. There we go. And the great thing about this is, is you can do it like this. You can put it up to the top if you wish. You know, either way, it's going to look cute. And I think, I think I want it like this here. Then all you got to do is take a little glue. And some glue on this side. And here. Okay. Is just a moment. Oh, and Dean, you do not do that. I am recording. Sorry about that, guys. You can take one of your little journal cards and it'll slide right there. Let me fix his TV. And disclaimer, you got the TV in the back. And, of course, you already heard the dude. He made this. Ah! His voice known. So it you works as a little tuck. For you know. Journal cards. Whatever it is that you want to use. So. And then I've got this one here. Let me go to the one of the other signatures. I have four signatures in this book. So. Um, I like this and I thought about taking it and making it a pocket and I said that in the last thing but I think I want to except I don't want to take away from that I'll think ponder that yet oh that'd be so cute there okay so let's put it right here and it'll be on this page and I think I'll put it up top so now we have this one here, and it's poking out up the top with the bead. So. Owen, that's enough. There we go. And so now we have a tab there as well. And that's the way it's going to look. It's going to be poking out the top. So, I think it's going to be cute. I love the way those little tabs look. I love the way the beads look. And it just gives it a little extra something. So, that is what we're going to do. That's how we're going to do this anyway. Um, I'm really loving these, these eyelets. I really am. Now, let's take this one here. And I'm going to put it right here. Make this one just a little shorter. And maybe cut it even. Okay. And then this one will bend like this. So this is just an e another way, guys, to use tabs and things in your journals. And especially if you don't have a lot of lace and you... This is a way you can kind of decorate your journal of the edges just by doing something as simple as this. I think I like it anyway. I think it looks kind of cool. There we go. And then even with these here, like go ahead and fold these. These are the original tabs. This is what gave me this idea. And then I'm just going to put a hole here. And then. Writing, I just think it's going to look cool. And then get your eyelet uh, thing. <clears throat> Squeeze it. And then, like I said, you can just go and you can go ahead and add that. You could take and add some lace. Wait, do I have any lace right here that I can actually use? Or string or whatever you want to use. I mean, 
that's absolutely up to you. You don't have to use lace. You don't have to use any of that. You use as you wish, whatever you wish to use. Um, but I do have some lace I can put in it. I think it just look cute. Like, let me see. Let me try something. Like here, you could easily take this and put like right here and you still have your eyelet there and you can put your your jewel through your your pin through but I think I'm gonna take and just add some of this and I think I want to just put it through like this And maybe tie it. Like this. There we go. And then add your little bead on there. Now these bowl pins I got for like three or four dollars I think in the sewing section of Hobby Lobby here a little bit ago. So now you have your bowl pin, however you want to put that on there, and a little lace. As soon as I get it sitting like I want it to. Oh, well, good Lord. Let me see if I can fix that. I did. So, you got your ball pin and everything on there. And that will just hang off the side of the page. It's really cute. It really is. And let's see. We got this one here. I think I want to add a little lace here at the top. So, I'm just going to add some... Some glue, a little lace there, cut that off, okay, let me turn my light back on because I can't see without my light guys, I just can't, now, let's see, let's use Christmas on this one. I think it'll look cute. There we go. Christmas there. And since there's a lot of red on that one, I'm going to add this bead. I like these little clay beads. I got these from BB Craft. They had sent me a package and asked me if I would review their products. And I did. And I really like their products. <coughs> okay. So these are, I, I really enjoy these. I, I really, really do. And I think I'm going to cut much off and bend this. They're really cute, really easy to make, and it's just something different to do in your journals. Not everything should be. I think being different is amazing, and I like to see people do things and switch it up and be creative, you know. Just because something's intended for a certain thing, it doesn't necessarily have to be done that way or used in that way, I think. You should create things that make you happy. No matter what, I think that you should um, just do you, man. Seriously, it doesn't it doesn't matter if tabs are meant to be um, not tabs, but flags are meant to be used. Like a lot of people use them for paper clips and stuff like that. I have, but. 
I think you can use them and create, you know, different, like what I'm doing, using eyelets, using, use these as paper clips, you know, make a hidden paper clip. I'm not very good at the paper clips, to be honest with you. I'm just not. But I do like creating them. My friend Brenda from Foxy's, uh, Foxy's Creations, I think is the, how her is the name of her channel. All right, Sam. Um, I'm not very good at remembering a lot of names for channels or for people. But anyway, she makes amazing paper clips. I like I like watching her craft. I think I got her linked below too. Well, I know she is because she's on the design team. But uh, you should check out some of her videos she has as well. So. She does some pretty cool things. And I'm blessed to have one of her journals. I'm happy about that. Um, this one here. I think I want to make this. and Kind of like. It, I don't know. Kind of like a paper clip kind of kind of way, and I'll show you guys here in a minute as soon as I get dirt this kid over here settled. Okay, so I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. Add my oops. Hmm. Wrong tool. Add this. Okay, so let me get my book and let me show you what I mean. Take it and it just kind of sits on here like that to where it's not glued down and it still acts as. You know, a, a little paper clip kind of a way. You know what I mean? It, it'll hold a little piece of ephemera or whatever. But if you don't want it there, you could take it out. You can take it and put it here. Let's just. Oh, that's where I want it. Or you can take a couple pages and you can, you can take it and say, okay, you know, I need to mark here because. I'm writing here, so it's going to hold some pages back. You know what I mean? So that is another great idea. I'm glad I thought of that, that you can use these for. That was a pretty good idea. Go Misty. It was pretty cool. Sometimes I can come up with some good ones, you guys. So um, now I want to decorate these up. This one here, I don't need to decorate too much. This one here, I'm not going to do too much to. Then I got these two. That I do need to do something with. And I'm going to cut this top one off. I've got all these cute little words. And I think. I might use. Um, a piece of this. And it can go right here. Because that paper clip is going to go through it. And then you could take like eggnog and put on there, you know, add a little cheesecloth if you want to. I like it like that because the paper is decorated. I probably won't put eggnog on there. But you know what I mean. Do what you want with it. Add what you want. Make these little clusters. Very, very cool idea. I'm so glad I thought about that. Okay, so now the lace is on there. And let's see. I need my smaller scissors, to be honest with you. Because those big ones are driving me crazy. Get my bumblebees. And I think I want the family. And just put family on there, like right there. That will be cool. 
Okay. Add my glue. And put family right there. And then you can take your little, your little bee dangle. And run it through your eyelet. And catch some of that thread too. Catch some of that lace. And then you can do that. Like that. And there you go. You've got another really pretty little tab. Paper clip kind of go journal. And I want to add some beads on these here. And even though this has got pink on it, I'm adding this peppermint um, bead is what I'm calling it to that because I'm different. I like being different. I like adding crazy things, different colors and stuff to my uh, things. Do things that nobody else would do or if they would, they probably wouldn't admit to it. I don't know. So I got eggnog here. I think I'm going to add that on there. Just that. I'm not going to add too much on it. Because it's just not me. It's not my deal. I do like doing clusters and, and layers and stuff. But sometimes I just like simple. And there it is. Look guys. These are freaking adorable. I love these little tabs. You got some with lace. You got some that are just plain. That is going to look amazing throughout your book. I mean, these are so cool. And you even got it up top here. These are so cool. So, and then I don't know where all I'm going to put these in. You know, but somewhere. Good here. I'm just kind of putting them in so you can see what they look like hanging in the book. I don't know if that's where I'm going to leave them or not, but I just want to kind of give you a little idea of how this can be done. So we'll take this one and put here. <laughs> so that's, I'm going to have to glue. How cute does that look hanging out the side? Your bead dangles and your tabs poking out there. So cute. I like it. Anyway, guys, that is what I wanted to show you guys today. I really like doing these. I think they're so much fun. And like I said, another take on your tabs. Your, tick, your tabs, your um, page flags. Just another way. And then you can make them bigger and make them into like little paper, paper clips. There we go. Paper, paper clips. That's what I'm going to call this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed, you know, this little thing. And I will probably be doing a lot more of these kinds of things for my books and just making them up ahead of time and that's something else you do just make them up ahead of time and have them in your stash so when you go to create your books you'll already have them made so that's it for now y'all i gotta get up off here it is after one i don't even know what's for supper i haven't gotten that far but i need to so i'm off here Thanks for watching. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. You all are amazing. Check out Deb's links down below. All the other guest design team members. I also have a list of all my some of my favorite crafting channels, and also all the links to my social media, including my online shop. Um, over on Facebook, go check it out. I'm gonna try to get some more things posted up in there. So. Anyway, I'm off here. Have a great day.